You are strong, but you do not know real power. Our strength lies in preparation. We have warriors across the Empire and other Jade Golems that are not corrupted. You have diminished us, but it is not a mortal wound. Death's Hand will be here soon. You will be my gift to him, drawn as you were by your precious amulet. Live or die, the will of the Emperor be done. Double axes! <laughs>
A lowly acolyte walks away. You should have died beside your master, preventing the escape of whoever did this. Unless you had a role in it. Destroy them to be sure. <laughs> the others. Be careful, there's no telling what the shifting of the fortress stirred up among all these graves. Hurry to the palace. I hate it that Master Lee is trapped there. Who knows what the Emperor is doing with him? What did you want to talk about? It is just about time, isn't it? The Emperor or Death's Hand or whoever can only keep us from our master for so long. So much has happened to get us here. Our hard work. The loss of Sagacious Zoo. I'm looking forward to having our questions answered. I also don't want to worry about you anymore. What if you were next to fall? I think I trust you now. But I'm not sure what should come next. This seems like such an uncertain time to be making plans for the future. I feel selfish for trying to find peace while this war of ours continues. If... when we free Master Lee, that will be the more appropriate time for this. I doubt you need any more incentive, but I am glad I have that effect. Now it is just up to the Princess to keep her word. And we can end this. Everything will be all right again. I know it. Very well. Don't go too far. We need to stay together.
this has been troubling. We should return to the flyer as soon as possible so everyone can discuss what we have learned. So, your lost sheep, Sagacious Zoo, returned to save you. I didn't think he had the nerve. That's because people are nothing but tools to you. My dear little Dawnstar, I'm a princess. People bow to me. That is the way things are. Of course, many things are not as I thought they were, if what we learned from Gia is true. know what you found and what the implications of it are. The Emperor himself ordered the golems constructed and the workers were stolen from their homes. By the water dragon's mercy, they are enslaved until they die and then trapped within the golems. I have seen the proof. But how can it be true? He has taken our master, killed our friends. What if assaulting the water dragon is true too? He must be stopped. No, I will not believe it. We have to go to the palace and give him the chance to explain! You will see. This is trickery from Death's hand. Or someone else. Layers upon layers! As if this wasn't complicated enough! Now you are really stepping beyond the realm of reason. Why would Zu know this? Only partially, it would seem, or they would both be alive. Does this change anything? We can tell Master Lee and give him hope, but we must rescue him first. Then let's quit talking and go to the palace. I will lead the way. I have grave concerns about this. Please talk to me before we leave for the palace. I worry for you if the princess cannot see the danger. She says she can get my marvelous dragonfly there in one piece. I've had no other options, and I won't risk the finish flying blind. Everyone be quiet! Are you ready to go? If you have business left in the Imperial City, you'd better finish it. I won't be leaving the palace without an answer. You would delay us for a chat with your precious country girl? Pat her head and get back soon. I want answers, and there's only one place left to get them. Hurry to the palace. I hate it that Master Lee is trapped there. Who knows what the Emperor is doing with him? My father will explain. Death's hand is behind this. You will see. It is just about time, isn't it? The Emperor or Death's hand or whoever can only keep us from our master for so long. So much has happened to get us here. Our hard work. I... I think I trust... Yes? How can this humble bun master assist you today? Um, no. That is a painful subject, one that brings back difficult memories. No, not for the reasons you might think. For four long years, my bellicose beauty insisted we try and try and try again to have a child. It was a most distressing time. I was so afraid of her for the first year that I could not perform. Her screaming and chastising only made it worse. I overcame that problem, but there were others. No, you have saved my life. You deserve to hear the terrible, awful truth. As I said, there were other problems. My plump plum of a bride is a good deal larger than me. I could compare my nightly efforts akin to climbing a mountain if only it had been that easy. And there was always the fear that she would roll. I am a small man. My delicate frame was not meant for such pressures. I once lost all feeling below the waist, which perhaps was a mercy in itself. Of course, we overcame these obstacles and kept trying for four long years. Never. Though no one can accuse me of not trying. 
Once she decided we would not be able to conceive a child, her interests declined, thankfully. If we had succeeded, I would not have survived to see a second. Stories, stories, stories. There are no more. If I tell you anything more, I will have no secrets left. A good fun master must always have a few secrets. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. Always happy to help. What do you need? Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. What? What do you want? I'm a fighter, not a damn history book. No more stories. You've got my fists and my axes. That's enough. Let's find someone to kill. Are you ready yet? The more I think about the information you found, the more I need answers straight from my father. Good. My father has much to answer for. I know he will explain everything. And if Death's hand is there, I'll have some words for him as well. Kang, those flags that I gave you, the ones with the royal seals, mount them on your pile of scrap and let's go. I don't want to waste any more time. Yes, ma'am. No argument. Garish flags to stop the turrets. Just no yelling while we fly. The space is small and it echoes loudly. Uh, yes, Princess. At your word. 